Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 98, 95 or ME, but mainly 98 because that's the one I like. In QEMU, um, with KVM support, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is create an image. Uh, I like using QCOUT, so I'm going to use QEM, QEMU image create format, QCOUT 2, copy and write, Windows 98, and then give it 2 gig. <laughs> you don't really need more than 2 gig, but go for it if you want to. We hit return, everything's good. Now, next thing we need is a patch, which um, we're going to get from this website here called Apache 9 x and basically what this does is apply a load of fixes to the installer so we can do it all we need to do is click on releases and download this image here the uh, the floppy disk image so that's gonna let us patch so the command I like to use is QEMU system i386 we use the dash hda win98 QEM in, uh, QCAL 2 we point the CD-ROM to the downloads Windows 98 ISO it will be 2 seconds while just going by and um, buy a legal copy We need to boot to the A drive. And then I like to set the CPU to Pentium 2. Get the memory at 192. Anything higher at default goes a bit bonky sometimes. It's just a good number I've always found that works well. Uh, VGA to Cyrus. The net setup as so. And then we add the dash, uh, sorry, the hyphen FDA to the patcher image and I'll also enable KVM which is the best thing about this patch it actually lets you use this so we get speed I am speed one winner 42 losers I eat losers for breakfast speed I'm faster than fast quicker than quick I am lightning let's hit return First thing we need to do is run an F disk to set up our disk. So just type in F disk, yes, one, one, yes for large file support. And as you can see, it has created a brand new partition. We hit escape to cancel. You might as well just close this out and restart it. It makes things a hell of a lot easier. So we just press up on the controller, away we go. Okay. Now we can format our drive. So let's format C colon. Right, we'll call this Win9X. Builds nice and fast. So we now go and switch to the C drive just by typing C colon. We make the setup. And what we need to do is copy over the setup files to here. So we type copy D colon win98. Tab works on here. And then we just press the dot button to copy up to where we are directly. Here we go. This is going to copy over everything we need. Right, we then are gonna run the patcher command. So it's a colon uh, patcher. Uh, and then we type C colon like so. We choose option four. And now it's gonna run and patch everything for us. Job done, we type Y for yes because we want to apply all our patches. And we can 
exit successfully. Right, so now we need to run the setup program. So it's set up, and then because of the way the boot floppy works, we need to use the nm command, which basically tells it to ignore any memory issues because it can't detect the proper amount for whatever reason. We hit continue, away we go. Okay. Then we go and install a uh, wonderful Windows 98. Uh, might as well use difficult and then uh, install the most common components give the computer a name Petro Pony today he was always a quirky character or a quirky offering system eh? next United Kingdom Next for the create the startup disk, we don't need it, we'll just hit cancel as soon as we get the option to. And we copy the files over. And now it's time to restart. Now, what I like to do here is just switch over to... Uh, what's going on with your mouse? I just like to switch over to the terminal. And cancel it there. Control C. And then I change the boot to A to C. And there we go. Win. Okay, put my name in. Let me just get my uh, key off the um off the CD. Hmm. <laughs> God, it's so hard to find these keys on the manual nowadays. Where is it? Uh, uh, uh. Ah, there it is. There, there it is in the book. Let me, uh, let me just pop that in. So. Start now. Mm 
we can switch the uh, time zone to the correct time zone. Just hit OK. Oh, it's gate. The same thing in Windows. <laughs> One of these days it'll finish installing. We're about to listen to the greatest tune ever of my childhood. <laughs> We got Windows installed. Uh, here, if I can remember anything of this damn thing. What was the. Oh, so yeah, there's Windows 98 installed. But now we need to. Install the unofficial service pack free, which basically puts all the fixes in, it gets uh, memory issues fixed, and applies all the patches, makes it run faster basically. So, I like to use QEMU NBD to load it up. Um, you could also install this by um, just creating a, well, you could just transfer it over over the internet, download it thingy but I don't like putting Windows 98 on the internet you could also just make a blank um, make a blank drive and add this into it like a floppy image or an ISO but let me show you how I do it so we're going to use this program here you just search for um, unofficial Windows 98 um, SP3. I'll have all the links in the description though. You click on download pages and it's right there. So I'm gonna use my program, so Q E M U N D B hyphen hyphen connect equals slash dev N D B NBD zero and then win nine eight count. Uh, oh, it needs to be root for that. There we go. And then we just mount that drive, so it'll be mount slash dev. NBD zero part one, and then I'll just mount that to ISO. Remembering again, I need to be root. That's done. Right now, I can copy over this, so it'll be CP download. You could also obviously just drag and drag and paste, drag and place the file over if you wanted to but i like command line so that'll be uh, u98 sp3 and then we put that in to there i'm just gonna put it into the root because i'm a messy messy man get ready to do that and it's root there we go right we mount our file so that's that again remembering root and then finally, we unbind the drive. So that's sudo qemu nbd disconnect slash dev nbd zero. 
Done. Now, go back up with my commands, and I rerun it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Right. Now, if I go to my computer, and enter the C drive, and then we see all the mess I've made. We find this, double click it, we hit yes, and away we go. More installations. Let's stay, I'm just going to install quality of life stuff. Yeah, I don't really care about any of that. And there we go, our Windows 98 journey is complete. I hope you learned something from this that you can use, and as I said, the links are in the description. But if not, um, it's sure it was pretty funny just seeing uh, how many hoops you have to go through trying to get modern VM software to run on, or run with old operating systems. But yeah, let me know what you thought, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Keep compiling.